Today, I'll show you how to add navigation menus dynamically in Laravel. Hey guys, welcome to Webtrix Home. In this episode, I'll be working on adding, editing, and deleting navigation menus in Laravel. I'll create separate dashboard pages for those tasks. Let's get started. So, website settings is done. Now, let's go with that categories and we'll create a model for categories let's tag with PSP addition make model category all right so that'll give us a model and a migration table let's go here comes all this and Go to our model. Protect tent. Dollar table. Where are the categories? That will be plural form, right? And let's make it protected. Dollar primary key as CID. Then we can go to the database, migration, open the file for categories, and add here. So what we'll need here is column per string. That will be title, right? And we don't need much. I can just simply add a column for status. all we need right so if you want to add anything else you can add it from here and one more thing we can add is a field for the slug right and that will help us slugify the title it, it, it has a special character spaces in between then they will be removed from the title right so that's done if we need any more columns we can add it later so i'll simply migrate it so the table is migrated now we can go to our back end and add a page right so insert we have got setups, we can just rename it as category and add the fields we need and remove the fields we don't want. And this will be categories, right? So if there's messes, it will be displayed here. I'll add category table name will be categories right we didn't have emails so we don't need the ink type as well then we'll need title that will be title only and we'll need slug that will be slug and it's better to make it different from others it's better if you can create the slug automatically from the controller right and if you go to my side you can see the thing see the code see the function to slugify the title okay so we'll add here and status that will then select class from control and name will be status and the options will be let's say on and off so that's all what we need and we don't need th these things right so I'm gonna remove these sections 
conditions so we don't have anything over here as of now we don't need the scripts and we don't need the styles as well so what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is add a section for categories and let's use this one so categories and since there's not much here I don't want to use this one as well and at, at the same way I added settings so this will be Categories and this URL will be categories as well. So we'll open the route and define. That's it. Make it point two. The categories function and admin controller. So we'll go here and admin controller and add a function. Public function categories and this will return as a view. Backend and shared category. All right, so let's have a look how it works. So we have got categories, click here, and you can see title and status. Right, so if you go here and the database, you can see the category is here, there's nothing, empty table with titles, log and status column created at will be sent from front controller sorry crowd controller right so what you're gonna do here is create a function that will handle this log right I'll basically write is private function slug and this will give us a value here that will take a value let's say that's a string then what we'll do is modify the string to get what we want so dollar string equals to start to over right and that will be dollar string and let's train the space as well so all the text will be on lowercase break replace parents will be something like this where all the spaces replaced by hyphen and the subject is dollar string then if there's any numbers we can replace them as well the pattern will be as usual Z, Z9, and these things will also be replaced by hyphen dollar string. So we're we're almost done. So the last thing we'll want is break replace, and in this case, we'll control there's multiple hyphens together that are replaced by a single hyphen from the string and we'll return dollar string but let's do this our string dollar string if it has hyphen at the end so what you're gonna do now is add a clause over here if 
keyboard has title dollar data slug with equals to dollar this slug dollar data's title okay so if an input has title the slug will automatically be created with the same value from the data that will be processed here and it's written as a slug what you can do is define this on our root right so root is to post add category that will go to crud controller add insert data all right so let's have a look how it works let's add text status up update that answer is successfully if you go here and look so you can see the difference here right so the title is automatically slugified right so we don't need the status of for the first thing and we don't need the data right so we'll go to the options and truncate the table and then go on to add titles so we have about us that will be added and that shouldn't be updated over here right that should be add, sorry add category that that will be the same here so about us after that we have got services we can add it as small letters as well mother's services portfolio no problem and it's always better to add content on small letters right and then we have got clients then we have got team okay that's all we need so we have got our data we'll edit it later so we have got here and we can display the same here in our front page so we'll go to front controller create another variable dollar cats so db is table categories where status uh, will retrieve them and here we can define cats that will be pointed as dollar cats okay so we go to the front end then go to the section for it dollar cats as dollar cat and for it remove these lines and we can use here dollar cats slug right and then we can use here dollar cats title at the end we can use contact us that will be static contact contact us okay so we can basically do here is add a class is to make them capitalized okay that's all right so what I'm gonna do here is now make sections where we can edit the categories and let's say we can 
do something more here, right? We can just go to the admin controller and add dollar data close to DV table categories. Get all right, and then here. data as dollar data right now what, what I'm doing here is using the another six another column to display the contents from the table so I'll be adding table class table table striped table hover Shell number title status. I don't want to display this log over here, so I'll go here T body TR and multiple TDs. The first one will be for serial number, the second one will be for title, and the third one will be for status. And here, at for its, for the loop, dollar data as dollar category. And for its, right? And categories title and dollar categories status right so this will display table on this side except for the serial numbers and for serial numbers we can always use the key that is the index key and here we can write dollar key is that okay that will be zero at the first rate. So what we're gonna do is add plus plus over here. So the first one will be one. And the table is done, right? So we can use here table bordered. Make it for the better. That looks good. Instead of TD, we can use TS for bold contents. That's all right. So we can add a little bit up here. All right. Like fill all categories. So we can see them from here. And we can add a link to here, right? Action, and then here, delete button. Supposed to btn btn dash sm btn dash success and here class goes to btn btn dash sm and btn dash danger press right loading so whatever it is we can delete from here we can edit from here right so first we'll add the delete command that will be the easiest one so i'll add here you are delete category 
thirty slash dollar categories CID. Okay, so this will give us a key here. If you click here, this will give us this ID. We can use that and go to our route. ID will send it to admin controller at delete category. All right, so we'll go to admin controller at another function, public function, delete category, and there will be the ID. All right, tell the data equals to DB. This is table categories categories where CID is dollar ID delete right written direct back and we can say we can send it with the masses with data deleted successfully okay so if I again go here and click on anyone, that will be data deleted successfully. All right, so that's how we can delete the data. We can always add another data, not a problem. Now we want to edit it, All right? So we don't have anything over here, so we'll add another link on our table. So that will be. URL edit category and we'll need the ID as well dollar category CID all right so now once we click on this one we'll get the URL with the category ID and it's the same here on our root and this will be edit all right so we go here we almost have the same function here instead of delete we'll use edit and instead of delete we'll use first to get the data and then we'll read in the view and let's say we'll have edit dot category with data as dollar data right so first thing we'll do is create a new folder here that will be edit right and then we have the category blade which will copy and save it here edit okay so once we have these things we'll go back here and we have already used data here right so we can use data data is the same thing here then this will be main data let's name it main data not a problem then this will be main data dollar main data all right 
So same goes back up here, right? We go to categories where it's here, we go to edit, where it's the same place. But the templates are different, right? One is on the insert folder and the other blade is on the edit folder, right? So in the edit folder, what you're gonna do is we go to the edit folder, open this one. Now what we do is edit category. Edit category. Okay. So the uh will be here. That will be edit category. Okay, we have already got edit category. We can say update category and we we'll need main data as CID right and then we have got table here let's send the value separately as well the main data as CID that would be much easier and the value will be here. Draw the main data title. And here, let's go. And if the main data status equals to half, then this will be displayed. And else. First thing we'll do here is option the main data status. So this will help us display them. Main data status. If it's on, this will be on by default. If this is off, this will be off at default. Now we'll go on to update it. So there's no update, right? So we'll go here, update category, and go to the route, route post, post, update category slash ID, route controller, add update data. All right, so we'll create new method in our crowd control that will be quite much similar as the insert data so we'll place everything here and update data this will be update data right now what we need to do is we need to change a bit here separately Instead of insert, we'll need something different. So instead of insert, here will be where key dollar data reset dollar data, and then you can write update. And here too, you can add dollar data to content different. So here's update add. Let's update it at here. So there's the section I want to change. Update about us. Okay, that's already updated. Let's get back to services and make it small later services. That's also done. And the one change we need to make is instead of making it add, we can make it update. And then there's an issue, right? So let's say I'll add a category, display display to you, test, okay, add category, right? This test I send into display here. What happens if I deleted this one? The URL with edit category with ID7 will be deleted and there will be no data 
right? So let's have a look what happens when we delete it. So the data will be found now, right? So what you're gonna do is add a bit of content over here. Edit category, right? We can do here if dollar main data then there's written view is this one right else we can do is written view to categories isn't it categories data is dollar data isn't it so there's no category seven now and that will be redirected to another thing right so we can use written redirect instead and use categories all right so the view is fine the URL should be redirected okay that's done now man this fa trace is never working over here this is font awesome 4.2 right so you can change it to font awesome another version and that will work fine right let me do that first so i'll be replacing these things let's have a look if it works okay so that's the fonts file lack of fonts file there let's settle now well that's all for today thanks for watching and please subscribe our channel for more videos thank you